What's going on YouTube? I'm at it with another video for you guys. This is going to be um, more of an update than an actual review. Um, I've already covered this wallet. Uh, I'm responding to some of the comments that I've had in the past, whether it be in person or um, in the comment section here on YouTube um, in regards to the backside of the wallet and how much bills this actually can hold. So I'm going to go ahead and show you that it can hold quite a quite a bit. Let me go ahead and move this out the way. According to the website, it holds anywhere from one to four folded bills. Um, I'm here to show you otherwise. You can actually hold a lot more. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So let me remove all the 20s because I don't want that to be messed up in case something goes down okay so i'm gonna count this in front of you just so you can see that i'm not just saying something um okay so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven 12, 13, 14, 15. Now, I did it a little slow towards the end there because I didn't want the noise to take over the, the camera there. So let's go ahead and fold it like so. Make sure everything is nice and even. All the corners are straight. And should be good to go. So it's ready to be folded. And this is going to be completely random, but I have it here just so you can see the thickness of it let me go ahead and focus in a little more here there we go as you can see it's not quite as thick as this dental floss casing here maybe half the size of it so let's go ahead and go to work so all I do is I lift one edge I get one corner in there and I just Push it in there nice and slow, and we are good to go. Now, it looks like I was very, very forceful. I, I did use a little bit, but not much. Um, it's not going to destroy it anything. These bolts are pretty strong. Um, I've been doing this for years now, and I have yet to have any issues with anything coming undone, ripped, torn, um, uh, coming loose or anything. Um, but yeah, that is 15 bills. Now, me personally, I wouldn't have 15 bills in here. Um, I just think that's a little much, especially if you're trying to use this as a minimalist kind of a wallet. Um, that, that's just, you might as well just use a, a buy or try or quad folded wallet um, because now you're bringing the thickness right back up. But... For emergency purposes and if you want to do so you actually absolutely can um, as I just showed you just now um, obviously they can't be really old wrinkled raggedy bills you would have to get those replaced with, with some semi somewhat you know fresh bills but let's go ahead and show you something else now in order to remove it this is why I wouldn't do 15 you just walk it out slowly and as you can see, it's starting to come. And now avoid this tab here, because if you grab it, it's going to make it super hard to get out. So I try to put my finger underneath there when the time comes. And I'm pulling it out right now. See, this is good to go. That simple. Now... Me personally, I would have anywhere from five to 11. So let's go ahead and remove three bills here and make it 12. One, two, three, off to the side here. Now we got 12 bills here. And it's gonna be a lot, a lot thinner, you guys. So this is what you want. Um, you're able to get this in and out, no problem. Very, very easy. And as for this, um, all you do is push it back down. As soon as you put it in your in your wallet, it's gonna go right back down. So you don't have to worry about it and going out of place or anything. Um, now I'm just gonna lift it just a little bit there and make sure the corners 
or pushed in and yeah as you can see it goes in a lot smoother i just do that and we are good to go now i will only do this for emergency purposes just because i mean again you're bringing the thickness right back up which is kind of uh <laughs> going against why someone would get this wallet and i just use a traditional buy try or quad folded wallet um you you get this to carry less so um yeah um this is what i do from time to time um i rarely do it like this i, I normally just keep just you know a handful of bills in there and they call it a day and then pretty much rely on my card for the rest but yeah um you're able to it doesn't affect anything else just being like this because of these cases um but yeah it's, it goes in there pretty easy So that is all she wrote, you guys. I hope this was informative. It just takes a little, a little practice to get in and out, but yeah, it doesn't mess up anything. But uh, that is all she wrote, you guys. Until next time, let me go ahead and show you that this is easier to get out than the 15 bills. I'm just walking it out slowly, walking it out. It's coming, it's coming. And grab it in the corner. Voila, good to go. This is the Trayvax Ascent wallet. Hopefully this helps someone out there in regards to uh, how much you can actually carry. As you can see, um, none of my bills are destroyed to the point to where it's harming anything. But yeah, until next time, you guys stay safe. I'm out. Peace.